high place back in the house. Right now I'm at Academy right now, trying to stock up on my tackle. Right now I'm working with the um, two ounce weight, size 18 liter. And right now, tomorrow morning, it's Friday. I'm trying to go ahead and uh, hook me one of them guards, man, for real. I'm on a hunt for a guard, desperate for one. And I'm trying to see what I can do, what I can find, man, for real. So uh, I'm looking for, I need to give me some circle hooks. They say triple hooks is the best, but to me, circle hooks are the best. And I believe I'm in a, going in the right direction, to tell you the truth. Look at this. That is the uh, value pack with a size eight, quantity five. 25, I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't know if I should go with those or what I should go with, but I'm on a mission for tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. I'm not sure what I want to do. All right, all right. So I'm back in my lab with the Ambu Garcia 5500. I'm about to put some new line in here. I got the uh, 20 pound test line, 20 pound test. I'm about to put some new lines, been a while since I read, read my stuff. And um, gonna go ahead and put that leader, whatnot. You got me a, uh, a leader, guys. There's a swivel. But that's not, that's the circle hook I got. Oh yeah. So let me just show y'all back with your heart. Pull this thing back in, man. Filling in the new line into my new rod right now. 20 pound test line. Putting some new feed in there. Been a couple of years. That way I give me a good big one. I won't lose it, you know what I mean? What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Wet Hooks and Hot Plates. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified. I'm here out fishing today, one of my spots. Got one line in. I went fish, uh, went caught some bait. Only two cast, and I was able to catch a, sh a large amount of mullet, finger mullets. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I'm showing you what I'm using. Eight ounce weight with the leader on it, with a seven ounce, seven circle hook, number seven. I went last night, bought number eight. I'm gonna put that on my next line. Always check your lines, guys. Pull, check for any kind of scratches or where it feels thinner than the rest. If you do, just cut it off because if not, you, you hook a big one. He's capable of breaking your line. You're just going to be like, oh, man, I just lost a big one. So I'm out here, guys, trying to catch me a... It's going to be a catch and release, most likely. If I don't catch a guard, I'm, I'm out here for a guard, to tell you the truth. Uh, beautiful day, beautiful morning. But uh, I will get back with you all here shortly. Yeah, so here we go. <clears throat> Small little finger mullet. This one has died on me. This is the number eight circle hook that I'm, I bought last night. What I do is just, usually when they're live, I hook them right here by the eye and just let them swim. This one's dead, so I'm gonna hook them like if it was a shad. Just like that. Make sure you don't, well, I do not let the hook come out. That way the fish doesn't feel it. He just try to swallow them whole. Yes, indeed. I'm using one of my favorites. Last night, I, I relined this one. It's my Ambu Garcia. I'm 
pretty nice, man. It's pretty nice. I've had it for about a year, two years already. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, throws just right how I like it, man. Yes, indeed. And this bad boy right here, this is my what I used to try to catch my guard. I like to use cup bait on this one. This one is my um, 4.1 gear ratio, and it's ready to go. It's my big boy. So I'm gonna cut up some bait real quick and see what they're biting on. Water's real high, so normally that right there tells me there's gonna be a lot of crabs. I see a lot of bait activity going on, but we'll see. I got five lines in the water. I'm about to catch something. Hopefully, flathead, catfish, blue cat, or gar. Haven't seen no fish rolling over yet, but just got here, been here about only 10 minutes. So we'll see what we got. All right, so this is where I got my mullet. Got a pretty good size mullet, chopped them in pieces. Oh, my line's dropping on this one. Oh, I just seen a guard roll over. So this is my cut bait. I'm using the head. All right, this is a sign of a gar, guys. My line keeps dropping. All right, so I just checked all my lines right now. Not a single bite, been here for what, 20, 30 minutes already? No crabs. Well, just one on one pole, but that's a good sign. At least the crabs ain't biting that bad like I thought they would be. Been getting a couple nibbles, but that's it. Um, yeah, so I'm just here, just waiting patiently. That's all I can do is be patient. Patience is a virtue to success, they say. So... Yes, and uh, uh oh, there, there was a bite on that pole right there. Come on, Moby. Let's get it. Bite it, take off with it. Let me show my fans what I'm actually out here getting, man. I'm trying to catch them. Well, guys, I've been here two hours already. Just a couple of nibbles on my rods. See, I got five of them pulled out. Yeah, wind is picking up. Sun's already out. I see gar rolling over, but for some reason, I don't know. The tide is real high. I'll show you what I caught. Earlier this morning, I used um, my cast net and I one cast caught them all, man. One cast caught quite a few, about 20 finger mullets. That's what I'm using this morning. Keep them alive. That's what I'm using right off the bait. Let's throw it out there. My little bait bucket. Pretty soon I'm gonna give me a bucket with a, give me a bait bucket with the live. Well, keep them that way. That way, you gotta keep bringing the bucket in and out. Yeah, I see guard just rolling around, guys, and I'm not getting no luck. They probably, I don't know. I'm thinking about putting the corks on mine and fishing on top, fishing bottom. It's 11 o'clock. Give it one more hour. If not, I might come back later on tonight and give it some more. Uh, Give another try. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, like I say, the sun's coming out. Place I'm at, I gotta drive all the way down that. Just to come in here. It's by a library on the other side of that bridge. Just in between those two posts, there's a drop off right in the middle. From there, right in this very middle, it's like 18 feet deep. And on the sides here, it's like five feet, six feet deep. Yeah, it's getting windy. I don't know. Let's see what we're at. 40. Not a, even a fish. Been out here for about four hours. Damn, it's a big old splash. There's activity out there, but for some reason, there's so much bait. I guess they're on top. And it's so windy, I can't put corks on it. They're gonna be going everywhere. So right now, I'm just gonna call it a day for now and just come back out later on. Tonight, do some nighttime fishing. That'll be on another video, God willing. I just wanna tell y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Sorry I couldn't show y'all any fish today, this, to this morning, but uh, you will catch me again later on tonight on a different video like i said don't give up man be consistent and keep going for what you want man in life don't ever give up and that's what i'm gonna prove to y'all tonight it's gonna be the day that i'm not giving up i'm gonna get me a fish so if you're new to the channel guys please hit that like button subscribe hit that bell get notified every time i download a video thank you for tuning in Peace.